Hello all, Shedwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Bloodsucking Babes from Burbank. It's the 40th film in the 50 Decrepit Crypt of Nightmares collection, is directed by Kirk Bowman, and stars Heidi Brucker and Danilo Mancinelli. I know the title of this film is Bloodsucking Babes from Burbank, but they really missed out on a golden opportunity. Since the film is often tongue firmly in cheek, they could have gotten away with bloodsucking bimbos from Burbank, as the only ones sucking blood are the women in the movie. They could have also lied a little bit and made it even better by calling it bloodsucking blonde bimbos from Burbank. That is alliterative gold right there. The only pictures I could find from this movie, other than the poster, was all scantily clad women munching on bloody body parts, so instead, here are photos from an adjacent film called Cannibal the Musical. Enjoy. The blandly titled Bloodsucking Babes from Burbank is just as bland as its title. It's about archaeological students who uncover a jewelry box that is hundreds of years old that, when opened, causes the women opening it to rub the very plastic jewels inside all over their body, and then causes them to grow really ridiculous looking computer generated fangs in their mouth and feast on the bodies of the surrounding men. The boyfriend of one of the students gets angry that his girlfriend won't bang him, so he weaponizes the box by spreading the jewels all over the city of Burbank. Meanwhile, two characters from out of nowhere show up to destroy the box. Everything that happens after that doesn't even matter because this is a shit show from beginning to end. I will say that the boyfriend that weaponized the box throughout the film gets rewarded for it in the end by getting back with his girlfriend and her agreeing to sleep with him. So the actions in Bloodsucking Babes from Burbank have absolutely no consequences. Also, when they're looking for this 200 year old relic, they search the ground in the forest for it, like it wouldn't have found itself in some dirt after that many years. Whatever, this movie is stupid. Its title is stupid and everything else about it is just stupid. I did not have a good time watching this movie, clearly. And I fell asleep for 10 minutes towards the middle, so I had to rewind it and start it from where I fell asleep. So I'm angry at it for wasting 10 more minutes of my life than it needed to. Arg. Anyway, I'm gonna give Bloodsucking Babes from Burbank a big ol' stinky F- and move on to tomorrow's film, Big Trouble in Little China. Spoiler alert, this film kicks ass. See y'all then.